Good afternoon and welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 2nd of December. In Luke chapter 16, Jesus speaks to his disciples and ends up saying to them, uh, you cannot serve two masters, you cannot serve both God and money. And in verse 14, we're told, the Pharisees who loved money heard all this and were sneering at Jesus. He said to them, you are the ones who justify yourselves in the eyes of others, but God knows your hearts. What people value highly is detestable in God's sight. What people value is detestable in God's sight. And that got me to stop and think, what is it that we value? How do we value things? How do we measure? How do we decide? And as you keep reading in Luke, he then records some of Jesus' teachings about Scripture, and that that, that will stand um, and is not going to disappear. Uh, he mentions divorce, and then you have that parable of Lazarus and the rich man. The rich man seemingly on top of things, having everything he could want, Lazarus having nothing, but they die, and in eternity the situation is exactly the opposite. Lazarus is at peace at, at Abram's side, and the rich man is in Hades. The rich man on earth... Um, what people valued. He had it all, but ultimately he had nothing. And it's a challenge to us because how do we value things in a society where you measure people by success? You measure success by money and rewards. You measure a person by their status in society and the accolades that are given to them. We're now measuring people, well, maybe not all of us, but some people, by the number of followers that you have and the number of uh, friends you have on Facebook and how many people are following your, your YouTube accounts and things like that. That measures your success. That's what the world looks at. And it's very easy to get caught up in that. Um, and society gives us no other measures. And as Christians, we have to read through Scripture and say, God... You give us the standards. You give us the measures to use. Show me how to measure my life in your, in your eyes, not in the eyes of the world, not even in my own eyes because my eyes have been contaminated by the world. Lord, show me your value system. And that takes us back to yesterday where we have that story of the prodigal son who in the eyes of the world, he would have had no value. He comes back, he's squandered his father's wealth and his dismissed his father, he's done everything wrong, and yet he's still loved. And that's what we hang on to. God says we are loved. That is our value. He runs out to meet us. That is our value. He embraces us and calls us his children. That is our value. Irrespective of what the world says, irrespective of what our, well, our, our um, bank statements might say, irrespective of the cars we drive and the houses we live in, what is valuable ultimately is that we are loved by God. The world won't see that. The world will ignore that completely and will say, oh, but I'm a Christian and I'm loved by God, and they will sneer, as the Pharisees did to Jesus. But ultimately, we measure ourselves and we against Jesus' standards, not the standards of the world. So know that irrespective of what the world around you might say about you, you measure yourself by what God says. And God says, you are precious. God says, you are loved. God says, you are his. Hold on to that and be blessed.